Isaac Perez Santos. Hello. Good morning, sir. You are charged with speeding on Douglas Avenue in the school zone. Yeah, I didn't notice that. You are charged with doing 31 miles per hour in a school zone. Now remember that, 31. The city does not charge you if you're doing 30. They give you a 10 mile cushion. I have taken the position that when the city charges you with doing 31, that they, can, they could also have charged you with doing 30 or 32. Okay. So I give you the benefit of the doubt. So I'm going to dismiss the case oh, because I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Now, I know you were before me before. Oh, yeah, different, no. I, right? I remember that. And remember you telling me you were a boxer, right? No, I am. I, I am a boxer. You're still fighting, right? Of course. I'll All right. This month. Now, let me see your left hook. Seriously, let me see it. Yeah, you got you gotta, that, that was, you, I mean, you could even knock me out with that, <laughs> right? Are you a southpaw or are you no, a... I'm righty. You're righty? Yeah. If you were fighting a southpaw, right, what strategy would you, you use fighting a southpaw? If I was a southpaw, yeah. what strategy would you use? I would, go, uh, I would, would fight you, and go would, to his left. Would you jab me to death or what would you do? I would jab you and I'd go to my left so you yeah. don't even know you're right. Just take it from me. Because you're a softball. Take it from me. I know a little bit about this stuff, right? I know. <laughs> I happen to know about this. If you're fighting a southpaw, listen to me, right? Right hand lead. If you're fighting a southpaw, right? Never mind jabbing. Right hand lead. Right hand lead all the time. You knock the southpaw out. Trust me, I know. Oh, you've done it before? I, I know this stuff. All right. <laughs> I know. That's good. Can't you tell? I mean, you can tell, see the athletic body, right? You know, <laughs> my, my dad was actually a prize fighter. Uh, when, my dad was born in Italy, came here, and uh, in his early years, he, in addition to other things, peddling fruit, he was also a prize fighter. And I remember him telling me, he'd take me to the gym, right hand lead fighting a southpaw, right hand lead fighting a southpaw. And trust me, it's the best mechanism. Just when you go to the gym next time, right, have somebody fight southpaw. Right, even right. though they're, they're right-handed. And just throw right hand lead, you see, because they're, they're vulnerable, right? It's right here. Oh, yeah, it's easier. Yeah. You're throwing jabs. See, you're throwing jabs. You, you're fighting a southpaw. The southpaw's like this. Your jab's sitting there on. Exactly. Right hand lead is over here. It's wide open. I want a percentage of the next fight you have, right? <laughs> I give you 5%. When is your next fight? Uh, next month, Dominican. Oh, in Dominican Republic. Yeah. What way do you? Oh, wait, 140, 140. 140. Well, yeah. we wish you well. Oh, man, thanks. All right, if you're fighting a southpaw, what do you do? Uh, right hand lead. Right hand lead. <laughs> I want you to go to the gym and try it out. All right. All right. Good morning, <clears throat> Good morning Scott. You have one parking ticket on Moore Street. Correct, Your Honor. And it's parking in a prohibited area. Yes, it was uh, mid-divorce moving day. I had a mattress on the roof of my car and was actively moving at the time. I've got a photograph that's uh, time stamped to show you as well. Inspector Quinn? It's within three minutes of receiving the ticket. Uh, the ticket was misplaced during the move. The ex-wife said she would handle it. I think she meant she'd file it for me. Oh. She handled it. <laughs> and now I'm here. I would hope you, want, you, you Do you want me to open that area? Yeah, let's now, not go Now, you know, there. there's something in the war that once you open an area, then you are subject to, it, to, to the court exploring that area. So Let's not. You're let's talking not about the ex-wife. The ex-wife. Well, how many ex-wives have you had? At this point, sir, just the one. Just one, okay. I was mid-move. Um, I received the ticket within about three minutes of that photo being taken. If you compare the timestamp on the photo to this, I was parked in front of the house, ran back inside to get some rope right. to lash a mattress. Right. It seems a little silly to get a ticket for that. Right. I mean, she threw you and the mattress out. I took my mattress in. Oh, you took your We're mattress. To... You, you got possession of the mattress. She got possession of the bank book. And the, the house You're and the, the neighborhood photograph. and the parrot and the yard and the, yeah. She got the parrot? She got the parrot. You got the mattress, she got the parrot. At least you're getting a good night's sleep. Well, <laughs> yeah. And the parasera needs her at night, I guess. You got the box spring also, Judge. 
You got the box spring. You got too? the box spring. Got the box spring split box. Yeah. Oh, you're holding back on yeah. me. Your Honor, Sorry, he has Honor. a photograph here dated March 11th at 5:22 p.m. And on it, it does have the uh, the uh, red whistle. He got the ticket at 5:21, and there was still time on the meter at 5:22. Uh, there was no meter. This is in front of my house. There's, uh, there should be parking there, I would think. Um, there was no parking on that side of the road, but I literally had pulled over just long enough to throw a mattress on the roof. Can you call that parking, or is that maybe extended loading? I'm going to give you a break on it. Appreciate it, Your Honor. <clears throat> what gear was the car in? Uh, it was in park. I'm not going to read into that. You can. Are you finally divorced? Is it over? It never ends, Your Honor. It never <laughs> ends. <laughs> I never heard that before. <laughs> oh, it drags on. It's a continuing saga. Are you happily married, sir? You know what? This is unfair. It really is unfair, <laughs> because I'm only hearing one side of it. Now, you're here for a parking ticket. But it would I really wish that you, you is she still your wife? Are you, are you divorced yet? Uh, we're, we're done. All right, you're done. I really wish she were here to hear her side of the story, you know? Remember, Paul Harvey used to say, and now the rest of the story. I'd love to hear from what, hear what she has to I say. I took the mattress and I ran. I think we're done with this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm not making a judgment on this, all right? I'm not saying whether you or she, uh, in that situation, is, is it fourth. I don't know. Anyway, I wish both of you happiness. This case is dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. Right. Come on. How cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtinprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.